Hi, I'm Gordon I'm with Maxwell PC Magazine. I'm going to walk you through the hottest thing in small computers, and that right now is Intel's NUC. It's basically LUC with an N. This is an Ivory Bridge i3 processor. It's got everything you need in basically a 4x4x2 package. But this came out last year, so we don't care about that. This is a current product. It's using Intel's latest Haswell processor. It's a Core i5 instead of a Core i3, which gives you basically turbo boost. And that between the Haswell um, a new Haswell processor and the clock speed is about 30 to 40 percent faster than this in a lot of encoding tasks. Uh, but there's a lot of other things happening. This is Gigabyte's BRICS projector. It's basically a NUC, but it's called a BRICS since Intel actually owns a trademark to NUC in the same package, but they have integrated a small projector. This is a completely self contained projector and computer. You plug in your power supply. Inside is RAM, SSD storage, and you have a computer that can project onto a wall. Uh, I will say the projector is not the greatest. It's about 75 lumens, so even in this room, the, it wouldn't be the best image. You really do need a darkened, image, uh, darkened room to use this projector. It's pretty neat. In actual performance, uh, it's an i3 Haswell versus i5, so this is actually uh, about 30 to 40% faster than this unit. But... In actual performance, since it's an i3 on both of these, Haswell versus Ivory Bridge, roughly the same performance. So nothing too special here as far as performance, but you do get that nifty little projector. And what I do like about this unit, I, at first when I got it, I thought you needed a funky uh, dongle that would loop back from the, the Pico projector into the unit itself. It's all self-contained. This is what it would look like just with a wire and maybe a USB dongle for your keyboard and mouse. This one is actually the bad mother of this bunch. This is uh, Gigabyte's Bricks Pro. It features a full-on Core i7-477R, whereas all of these units feature either uh, Ivory Bridge or Haswell processors that go into laptops. This has a real desktop processor. You're seeing this show up in all-in-ones. You're not seeing it in desktops because it's a socketed, it's not a socketed processor, so you're not going to ever get this on a motherboard uh, unless it's soldered onto the motherboard. But you're only seeing this in this processor in basically all-in-ones, and that's it, and this unit. Is there a difference between a Core i7-477R and all of these other uh, Haswell uh, Ivory Bridge parts? It's a huge difference. Uh, in benchmarking, this unit that's this tiny is actually faster than a 6-core uh, Sandy Bridge E processor in benchmarks that are not heavily multi-threaded. Of course, anything that is heavily multi-threaded, this will lose, but in the vast majority of applications that most people use, this is actually faster than a Sandy Bridge E 6 core processor in this package. As you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than the original Nook. The other kind of cool thing about this is Gigabyte has integrated the ability to use a full on 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive, as well as an mSATA drive. You can actually run an mSATA drive and a hard drive. So uh, it gives you really great f uh, flexibility with storage. In fact, that's what Intel did with their latest unit, which I'm going to show you right here. This is basically, which I've taken the bottom off, this is this unit, a Core i5 Haswell processor, but with the ability to take a hard drive. I don't think Intel actually did this because they wanted people to use SSDs. I think people wanted to use hard drives because they're a lot cheaper. But I will say, in this unit, because we like to go big, this is a two terabyte Seagate momentous hard drive, and you can actually get up to a one terabyte mSATA drive in here. So that can give you three terabytes of storage in a box this small. And the performance is actually pretty good. It's the equivalent of this uh, Haswell Nook, which is about 30 to 40% faster than the original Ivory Bridge unit. Certainly not in the class of this baby, which just flies. It is also a lot louder though. When you really load this thing up, with multi-threaded tasks. Remember, it's a quad-core with hyper-threading. If you load it up, it will make a lot more noise in these units. These units, if you are looking for uh, an HTPC application where even under heavy load you can't hear it, these are probably your better choices. But if you do need something that you, where you need more performance, and honestly, this is almost a portable workstation if you think about it. You just bring this, a keyboard and mouse, and everybody's got HDMI televisions, you've got basically a full-on quad-core desktop part that you can use to do your projects. 
these are all really cool, but what if you want to build your own? Stand by in the next video. I'm actually going to show you how to build your own nook. I'm not sure it's something you want to do, but I will show you how. Check out more videos on MaximumPC.com.